My name is uh, Jacques Carmans. I'm the general manager for General Electric for premium MRI and interventional MRI. Premium stands for 7 Tesla, 3 Tesla, 1.5 Tesla, and interventional MR stands particularly for everything that MR guides, such as therapeutics or focused ultrasound and laser ablation in particular. I've been in MR since 1985, and I've been following MR-guided focused ultrasound since its inception. I would characterize the field of MR-guided focused ultrasound in the following way. In four or five years, we will all wake up stating that the overnight success of MR-guided focus ultrasound was 15 years in the making. I th wanted to make sure that I put in there a time frame of at least five years from now because it's not going to happen overnight. Obviously having an MR machine with a very expensive option called focus ultrasound um, increases the cost of a procedure and certainly here in, in the West, in the United States in particular, there are regulatory and reimbursement hurdles that are very significant and take a long time to sort out. So the clinical adoption of MR-guided focus ultrasound in mainstream um, therapeutics is not something that will happen overnight. But once it happens, I think it will be adopted with a warm embrace. Although the technology was pioneered primarily at uh, the Brigham with the double donut system uh, over 10 years ago, uh, the adoption might be actually faster outside of the United States. The regulatory hurdles as well as the reimbursement hurdles are a lot less uh, stringent in uh, the European theater and certainly the Asian theater. So I do foresee that um, the casual adoption in those uh, geographies will actually be faster than here in the United States. If you read up at what the Institute of Medicine uh, published in the United States, it takes 17 years between the initial first uh, rendering to practice of a new technique and mainstream adoption. The two approved applications right now are for the treatment of uterine fibroids and for bone palliation. So I think we desperately would want to have the next clinical application to be approved from a regulatory point of view, whether it's treatment of prostate cancer or treatment of breast cancer or uh, tremor treatment. So getting to the next frontier really means uh, getting agreement with uh, the regulators that this technique helps novel treatments in areas that so far have not been approved. Well, I think MR-guided focus ultrasound is an intellectually incredibly appealing combination of two uh, modalities. The fact that you can non-invasively treat and non-invasively deposit um, is something that was not thought of 20 years ago. So non-invasive or minimally invasive therapies are the thing of the future and patient centricity and humanizing radiology really stand in uh, the, the forefront of why MR-guided focus ultrasound has this appeal for patients as well as for uh, physicians. You know, here in the United States we have an issue with uh, the rising healthcare cost and what are the reasons for that and how can we help curb that wave and you know, patient centricity could be one of the venues to explore more in depth. I think there is a strong correlation between outcomes-based medicine and patient centricity. The role that the Focus Ultrasound Foundation is playing was, I think, well highlighted this morning by Neil when he said, we are advocates of things that matter to patients. Yes, there is an important role for research <clears throat> and for um, the support of research, but in the end, we're not after publications, we're about improvement of patient care. So I think that's a statement that is very worthwhile thinking through when it comes to what initiatives to fund and which initiatives maybe to table. It's important that the community that comes to the meetings of the Focus Ultrasound Foundation sees plainly displayed what's out there and what hurdles are to be conquered still. It's not just research, it's also established practice that have to be uh, maybe superseded by less costly and better quality procedures like MR-guided focus ultrasound could offer in the future.